who's gonna help them in London? Best coast friends. <laughs> who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy you done get it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Leon, I'm too cool as an African geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into Doom Patrol episode 3. The first two episodes were something else, especially the second one. It ended on such a cliffhanger with them all seemingly dead, which is probably not the case. Um, and also, what's up with this time traveler woman who can shape shape? Also, the Brotherhood of Evil was introduced the last episode. Man, I'm just mad excited to see what happened after the previous episode I just watched. Let's jump in. What is happening? Are we in the underworld now? Because they dead? They are so dead. What? How is Rita still fine? Is it because they got shot first? Are these ghouls? <laughs> She's pretending to faint. Dude legit slept on a piano. There's four boxes. Is, is that they bodies? Damn, they delivered the whole squad? Damn. Yeah, man, you went up in space and everybody got murdered. Never thought we'd be going into the underworld. <laughs> so a cyborg soul is a cyborg? <laughs> And Robot Man's soul is a robot man. How is she not affected by why it's making them fall asleep? You got everybody killed. So are they in some kind of dream state while they unconscious? The amount of times we've seen Cliff walk down a road like this in the show. <laughs> Damn, he's talking to his spirit of his dad. What the hell? He's climbing a cliff with his mother? Why are they seeing their parents? Reunited and it feels so good. So both their souls are in the afterlife. Pretty sure that's not how split personalities work, but sure. Damn, she gonna see dead bodies. <laughs> the whole squad dead, Dorothy. What? He's losing it. They look weirder and more Buddha. <laughs> There is full blown losing it. Why is she ain't losing it? Oh, she's crying actually. Who's gonna help them in London? Best ghost friends. <laughs> so they ghost demon hunters. That's dope. I want that spin off show ASAP. Oh, she's not a ghost. She is the door. We are. Dead boy okay, detective so agency. Dude, legit mummified them. I, I, I want the spin off show about the detectives. Oh. It's happy places hunting. Look. He's hunting unicorns? Headshot. <laughs> You're gonna love it. Tastes just like chicken. Tastes just like chicken? <laughs> His father's got emotions. These dudes got issues, man. <laughs> then her father made her into a monster. What's with these episodes trying to pull on our heartstrings? Dealing with trauma and shit. We're not ready to watch people deal with their trauma when we haven't dealt with ours. <laughs> Jane's Heaven is way better <laughs> than Clips. I wonder what Victor's up to. Installed apps. Would have been a superhero ever since. Do you hear me? So Clips Heaven is the only shitty place. Look at this. <laughs> Where he's yelling at his dad. Every day. Victor's getting closure. Jane is getting closure. <laughs> Dude is obsessed with this girl, man. She's cool, mom. She just opened my eyes. She real evil, that is. She's a lot of pain. Who oh. blow mama's boy? I see you, Victor. Take this. A well old machine. What the hell? The sex goes are back. Call out to Rita. Damn, they took Rita. 
Death is looking for them? Well, I guess so. They're ghosts that are not leaving Earth. <laughs> guess they're helping. <laughs> they had to hit him in the head for him to astro project. Walking through mirrors. I can see my reflection. <laughs> 1916. Goddamn. She's super fit. Goddamn. Is that the unicorn? Almost made me. He said almost made me want to do over. His dad is still an asshole. Oh, he just can't express himself. Man shit. <laughs> Jeff is awake. Is that candy her father's? Detective, he has to give up some of his pain. Yes, please. Or feel pain. Is that how he got murdered? This show is dark as fuck sometimes. <laughs> They're just singing childhood songs here. I'm assuming. Ain't gonna gain consciences in that shadow place. The bridge. The cage. The hanging place. Then got no closure at all. <laughs> From his afterlife. Did they both low key die for being gay? That's fucked up. Dude is enjoying his time too much. You gotta go, Victor. Making us feel things, man. I'm not here to feel things. I'm here to enjoy myself. <laughs> I'm joking. Demon named David? Are these people famous in the comics? Huh? I've never heard of them before, but... I want a spin-off. Damn, David. He's basically Sasuke. <laughs> And David is uh, Ichigo. What did, did I just say? Ichigo? Itachi. What the hell's wrong with me? Damn, Rita's not even trying to help them. She's just hiding. Is it death? Let's see death and the fine self. Oh, she works for death. Oh shit. Charles. Is she some kind of black widow? Good for you. Get out of here. Who is this? I guess the dude with the melted face will come back and we'll know who he is. What the hell is she spitting out? What the hell was that? She just threw up on him. It's just wallet! <laughs> We did a whole underworld subplot. She's not telling them that she was the one who closed them in to their deaths. <laughs> she's leaving with them. Are they giving her something to do this season? He brought them in to take her, I suppose. Same thing that happened to Garfield Logan. Here's this woman. Is she gonna name drop herself? What a way to end this episode. Makes me wanna watch the next one. But now nah, I'm tired. It's like three episode reactions today. I gotta edit them on top of the Ah what a subplot they introduced some very interesting characters a lot of people had to deal with their tra traumas closures victor found out that his dad actually could have saved him in another way instead of making him a machine which is going to have ramifications cliff finally decided to get checked out the brain situation rita has a savior but also hiding the fact that she has a clone of herself who killed her. <laughs> um, Larry is powerless. Jane. Is Jane. She also got some closure. But she still feels unworthy on protecting 
the little girl. It was a great episode. Definitely watch the part one tomorrow with Foundation. Deuces, you know what I'm saying?